Hello everyone, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and I welcome you to another lecture on Android note taking application development with Firebase. So in the last video, we created the pop-up menu on our recycle view item and we edited the node from there and we also add the option to delete the node in the pop-up menu and we perform the operations as well. So in this from this video today, we are going to start the Firebase authentication in our note taking application. So it is important to have Firebase authentication because we are looking forward to save the nodes into the Firebase database and we also want the nodes to be available to the particular user to the any devices whenever he sign into the our particular application. And I will call that function as a sync function because we are going to synchronize the node from the one application to the another application if the user use the same email and password to log in. But before doing that, I'm going to organize the file in my application. So let me go here and I'm going to create the new packages inside this fire note of default package. So click on new, create new package and I want to create the new package here called note. And now I'm going to add all the the files related to note here inside this package. So I'm gonna select the add note, edit note and note details and I'm gonna drag and drop that to the note package. Okay, so click on refactor because it is going to organize all the files in proper way and it will help us to you know look into this project better in the future. Alright, now I'm, I'm, I'm gonna create one more package here called authentication and inside that authentication package will only put the files that is that is related related to the firebase authentication so auth click on ok now inside this i need two activity one is for login activity and another one is for register activity so i'm going to create that so i'm going to create i'm going to create both activity as uh, empty activity so create new activity select empty activity from here and First one is for login. So I'm going to give login as the name and click on finish. And the another one we need is for register because we want the user to be able to register new account. So new empty activity for register. Okay, click on finish. So this is the two, two activities we required for the authentication. So since these files are present inside the new package here, I need to import this R manually and in the login as well like that okay now i'm gonna build this project and see if we if we have any error while refactoring all these so rebuild this project and if we don't have anything to fix we'll go ahead and start on our authentication project okay the build is finished and we don't have any error so let's go ahead and start on our authentication here so first thing I'm going to do is uh, design the layout that we need for this login and register. So I already have designed this login and register in the final application. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the design layout from the my final application. So you can also do that by going to the source code and copy the login and registers uh, XML layout file. So I'm going to go to my I'm going to go to my project here and select the from the layout I'm going to copy the login and register layout file so paste it here and this is the layout that we're going to use for the login activity we have email we have password we have login button and we have this forget password option we have the create new account text view and we have the progress bar to display so and each and every one of these item has its own id email has its own id called email password has l password login button has the login button forget create account and progress bar okay and similarly i'm going to copy the code for the activity register so copy this from here go to the android studio and paste inside this activity register.xml file okay and this is the design that we're going to use for the login activity uh, register activity we have full name field, email address, password, and we'll also let the user confirm the password. And finally, we have this option to sync now and login here option. And we also have the progress bar as well. Okay, so this is the layout we need. 
and also let me close this uh, unnecessary file from here so this is the layout file we need now if you remember from the introduction of this particular video series i told you guys that we're gonna use first anonymous authentication to let the user authenticate without registering in our application so they can have the status of authenticated but we are we are not taking any email or password they can directly log into our application okay to do that actually i'm going to implement the splash screen first because in the splash screen we are determining if the user is already logged in or not if the user have the account or not if not we are going to log them in with the anonymous account in our firebase for that i'm going to create the new activity for the splash screen so i'm gonna go here and create new activity an empty activity and i'm gonna name that as splash okay so in this splash screen we are going to implement all kind of uh, logic to identify who which user is anonymous which user have all which user already have the account and already logged into our application and so on okay so let's do that in the splash screen so the few things I want in splash screen is I want the title here and the logo and I also want to display the spinner here let's uh, I already have that design as well so you can copy that from the source code given in the description so I'm gonna go to the my source code here and copy the activity splash file because uh, you know designing all these things will take so many so much time so I don't want to waste our time here so that's why I'm copying and pasting it and it's not that much of a hard work to design this splash screen so you can do that by yourself as well so we don't have this uh, logo here so for now I'm gonna replace this with something I'm gonna uh, replace this image to something else so I'm gonna change that and add this launcher as the icon for now later I'll, I'm gonna go and download the image and we'll display that image here okay so this these are the static files so we don't need to have ID, they don't need to have IDs so this splash screen is displayed for the two or three seconds and after that it is sending the user to the main activity based on the if they are logged in or not if the user is already logged in we are not doing anything we will send them directly to the uh, main activity and if the user is not logged in and opening the application for the first time we are going to register the anonymous account using firebase authentication and we are log we will logged in that user using the anonymous account and we'll send them to the main activity okay so now let's go to the splash screen here and first of all uh, I want to make this splash screen as the main screen that opens when somebody click on our application or somebody open our application so for that uh, currently our main activity is the launcher activity in the Android manifest if I go here and show you guys the code inside this main activity here you say you'll see that intent filter tag and inside we have this category launcher instead of making the main activity as a launcher activity I want to copy that code and I want to copy or I want to remove that code from the main activity and I will paste that code into the splash screen activity because the splash screen is the first activity or launcher activity that is going to be open when user open our application okay so paste that intent filter here and re remove that from the main activity our splash screen also not going to have any um, action bar so I'm gonna add the no action bar theme here as well okay so now if I run this application and show you guys it's going to open the this splash screen as the first screen in our application so run this application okay the application is running now and now you can see we have this splash screen and the uh, spinner is running as well but it is not sending us to the main activity right now because we have not implemented that code so let's go back to the splash.java here and here I want to add the handler that is going to send us to the main activity after the two seconds so for that we need handler class so handler create the new handler object here and new handler and now the handler class have the method called post delay that is going to delay some operation for the given amount of time okay so handler dot post delay and inside this we will create the new runnable if you remember run runnable is the part of the thread this is going to uh, run for the given seconds here I'm gonna add the semicolon and now we also need to specify the time for how many second we need to delay this so I'm gonna add the 
2000 here that means two second i'm going to delay this activity for two second and after that i, I want to execute this for the test i'm going to display the toast message that says the two second has passed let's run this and see this in action okay the application is running and it's going to display after two seconds so it it shows the message two second after two seconds okay so i'm gonna start the new activity for now later we will implement the anonymous authentication here but for now let's uh, send the user to the main activity after two seconds start activity new intent this is our parent class and main activity is the destination class okay but this since this is inside this um, inner class we need to get the application context sorry not this not inside the inner class inside the inner method so we'll get the get application context so run this again and now after two seconds we are going to go to the main activity okay and it is sending us to the main activity